Hey friends, welcome back to At Home with Lady Cinnamon, guys. I am so excited. We're gonna jump right in with how I created this beautiful wall art that's so textured. And guys, I know you see people using spackling or wall filler. And guys, I'm going in with Mod Podge, not Elmer's glue, and I'm not diluting it. This will give you the texture that you want without the weight for it being so heavy. Now, I know you see me putting my fabric in here. Do not do this. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, guys. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your, cam cam your fabric to the canvas and you're going to take your brush and completely dilute, make it sure that it's completely wet. And then you're going to start forming the pattern of texture that you would like. Um, and this is simply done just by taking your brush and wetting it all the way through to the canvas and then pulling up your fabric to form the texture that you desire. You can do this with any color you want for your canvas. It's up to you. I chose to go with white because of the aesthetic that I'm going for, for the area in my home. But I'm just repeating this process. Now what I would say is a lot of times people just take an old sheet and they throw the entire sheet onto the canvas and then they try to pull and pinch this fabric to get a texture. And it's a little bit hard because you have so much weight with that one big piece. I would recommend cutting it into different sections of fabric based on the size of the canvas you're using. Mine's is 36 inches by 48 inches, which is three feet by four feet, which is pretty large, but I had a huge area that I needed to fill with the space and I figured I would make my own. All I'm doing is once again, applying this, not diluting it with water, but directly to the fabric on the canvas and pulling and just pinching it and pulling it up into place. Now, if you're gonna use a frame, you don't have to cut the edge. I knew I wasn't going in with the frame, so I made sure that I left just enough to just completely wrap my canvas for all of that texture to be seen on the sides of mine. This is optional, you don't have to do this. Once again, completely saturating this with using the brush on the fabric to the canvas canvas and once it's completely saturated guys all I'm going to do is just press it under with my hand and it will dry in place and it's amazing it's sort of like paper mache without all of the starch and the flour and I absolutely love it and it turns out hard now for my next piece I'm just going to go on to the next section and do the exact same thing it's so simple and easy and I would recommend using like a very light sheet maybe a light linen, not a thick fabric, maybe even a seersucker, something that's not heavy, something that is very light, like a very sheer curtain would be perfect for this project. And that way you'll be able to get more texture. If you don't want a lot of texture, then by all means, use an old sheet. <laughs> so guys, this is so much fun. It's so easy. And I know that you've probably seen a lot of people doing this. I tried it before. Trust me, this is the easiest way. The corners is the same thing. You're just going to be wrapping it around if you desire to do the corners. And I'm doing the same exact technique, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. Apply it with the brush smooth it out and then pinch it up. So simple, just make sure that it's completely saturated. So I'm gonna let this dry down overnight <laughs> and the next day it was so crispy and hard and I absolutely love it. You can go back with some medium if you like to make it super hard, that's up to you. I would use medium, not necessarily wall filler or spackling so it's not heavy. Now we're gonna paint. I have a flat white paint. It's just a crafty type paint, not even acrylic. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this acrylic medium in there. It has a little bit of a pearlescence look to it. So the paint isn't just plain flat because I really wanna highlight all the texture on this piece. So that's the only reason I'm doing this. You can skip this step, this is optional because you might not be doing it in white and this is just what I wanted. That area is a little bit dark. It's next to a little dark section moody little room in my house so that's why i'm going with just a white fabric look so guys now make sure that when you do paint it that you have a brush that has very soft bristles so you want a soft brush with a wide um and not a narrow but a wide brush and that's all you need to be able to get into all those little nooks and crannies for all that beautiful texture that you just created and that's it we're going to dry this down again and 
this one you don't have to dry overnight you can probably do this in a few hours you'll be able to hang it unless you're going to be framing it and that is it I absolutely love it I bought a little light to highlight it, it looks so amazing in the evening and it looks really great all time today based on when the sun is reflecting on it and I really love the way it turned out and the way it looks in the space I'm making my house a home so with this house to home series you'll be seeing a lot more so guys if you do like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the bell twice if you'll be subscribing when you give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel and allows others to find me on this platform so I appreciate you guys love my oldies book goodies thank you for the new subscribers and joining the family we have so much fun over here so I hope to see you in the next video and thank you all for watching